Hey YouTube, today I thought I'd show you how to uh, fix a car battery using the uh, Whizbang Plus uh, desulfator. So I got this battery yesterday, and it's a car battery. It's the date on this thing says it's from um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, from 1013. Uh, it was pulled out of a car. This wouldn't start. This thing is definitely dead, and. I'm going to show you a few steps that you can take to get this thing back to life again. So first thing I'm going to do is do a voltage test. And I'm going to do positive and negative. And I don't know if you can see this, but we're getting, uh, this thing is definitely pretty dead. I'm getting uh, 3.9 volts, 3.9 volts. Okay, so this thing is definitely bad. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do before I even start charging this thing is to make sure this thing is actually uh, has water. But so make sure you clean the top off; you don't get that debris inside the actual battery. And pop the covers off. It's one of the worst things you can do is charge a battery when there was no water in there, so definitely a bad deal. It can actually burn out a cell if you don't uh, have water and then you try to charge it. Okay, so it looks like all the cells are fine with water, so I'm guessing this battery is desulfated. And I'm going to show you how to repair this thing. So an important thing is when a battery is this dead, you, you don't want to put this thing on a fast charger or it can actually destroy the battery. What you want to do is put this thing on a super low charge. And what I use is I, I just use a uh, little typical like little, little, little 12 volt AC adapter and I put some, uh, put some leads on it like little uh, alligator clips. So. I'm going to plug this thing in, positive to the positive, negative to the negative, I'm actually going to put it over here, i sure got a good clip on there, and there we go, and we'll measure the voltage again. So we should be reading about uh, yeah, so we're now we're at 12 volts. So I just want to make sure we're getting contact. Okay. Now the next thing is to hook up the uh, Wizbang desulfator. And the power light will come on if this thing's getting good contact. And the power light's on. I don't know if you can see that green light. So I'm going to let this thing go for a couple days and then I'll come back and do a voltage test and then if everything is working good I'll uh, come back and possibly do a load test. But right now this thing was at 3.9 volts and uh, you know this is not a very old battery so um, I think just by desulf desulfating this thing and doing a slow charge um, I think this thing will come back to life. So I mean internally it looks fine. Uh, there's water in the battery, so um, if this thing's not holding a charge, then the next thing I'm going to do is do a cell test. But right now, I think it's it's probably going to get repaired, so I'll uh, give you an update. So I thought I'd give you an update on this uh, battery repair project. Um, it's been uh, desulfating for uh, one night. And yesterday when I tested the uh, voltage on... 2015 it was a uh, 3.92 volts now it's the 16th and let me see so I'm gonna unplug the leads here the positive and negative for the power a little adapter unplug the whiz bang hook up my voltmeter okay and see where we're at 
Okay, so now we're at 11.70 or 11.7, you know, 6 volts. So it's still not good. I'm going to have to put it, at least it's not a new battery, but I'm going to let this thing sit here for another few days and see what happens. But already a huge improvement just after one day. So um, I'll get back and uh, try again uh, tomorrow or probably a couple days from now. But uh, yeah, I want to get up to like probably hopefully about 12, 12 6 volts. And then I'll think the, then I'll do a load test. But all right. Okay, quick update on the uh, desulfurator project. Um, this thing's been going for uh, four days now, and I see a huge improvement. So uh, I would say this thing actually works. Uh, I'm gonna try this thing on a couple different batteries, but uh, this battery was totally dead. I mean, this thing was uh, it sat on the somebody's garage floor for two years, and uh, and the guy even tried charging it, you know, with a charger, and it didn't work. So let me show you real quick the last voltage reading I got, and I'm gonna put this on here or leave it leave it on there for a month and see how it goes. I'm gonna take the positive off, and let me show you what I got. So, ah, let's see if I get that at the same time. Let's see if you can see that. So, 12.1617 volts. That's a huge improvement. So I think if I leave this on here for like, a, like another month, this thing would be like a brand new battery. Um, but let me show you my readings real quick. If you can see that. But I started off at 2, uh, 515 at 3.92 volts. Then I went to 11. Next day was 11.7 volts. Next day was 12.07. And then 12.17 today. So... Um, Cool. So this is my uh, review of the uh, Whizbang Plus desulfator, and I think it works. Cool.